Assalamu alaikum all. Welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are all in the best of health and iman. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nafisa. I am a Muslim life coach and I support sisters with relationship and mental health issues. So you can find more details on that over on my website, which I will leave linked in the description box down below. But over here on YouTube, I make Islam and lifestyle content. So if you like that, then definitely hit that subscribe button and join our family. Now you guys, I know it's a different background. I got so sick and tired of sitting behind my desk um, and filming ever since I got my desktop. I just feel like it's so bulky. It takes up like majority of the space on that desk. So I've got to come up with like a different background setup or I've just got to move that desk away. Anyways, so back to today's video, we are talking all about hair care. Now recently girls, I made a, a tweak to my hair care routine and I found that the results could really help those of you guys who are married and therefore are performing ghusl more often for obvious reasons. Um, so I thought that yeah, this this routine might work really well for you guys because I noticed that my hair has become a little bit dry. So I was just trying to find different ways and different things that I could do to amp up the level of moisture, especially for those of you who are married and are of like a mixed race or black heritage, because obviously our hair type is very different to Caucasian hair types. And we tend to suffer a lot more from like dry hair and all of that if we don't keep up a good hair care routine. So I thought I would come and share with you guys what I do and inshallah, just make an emphasis on the parts that I think will benefit you guys more. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video and without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So a few minutes before I, I perform my ghusl, that's when I start with my hair care routine. And what I normally do is I will deep cleanse my hair. I use the Tresemme Naturals shampoo and I will use that, give my hair a good deep clean and then follow up with the Tresemme Naturals conditioner and again, rinse that out. After I've done washing my hair and using the conditioner, then I will perform my ghusl, right? After I'm done performing my ghusl, I step out of the shower, I blot dry my hair a little bit, and then I follow up with a deep um, conditioner. The deep conditioner that I'm currently using is the Cantu Shea Butter Na for Natural Hair, which is the, their deep treatment mask. And I really like this um, conditioner because it's so, so thick, guys. Like, it's so thick and a little definitely goes a long way. And it's quite affordable compared to some other... Um, leave-in conditioners out there um so it helps to restore and strengthen dry damaged hair so i really do like this this is why i would put in my hair at the moment um to deep condition my hair after i've done deep conditioning my hair i go back into the shower again and i wash the deep conditioning out after that i will come out of the shower and allow my hair to air dry my hair takes roughly about 40 minutes to air dry just whatever works best for you. And then I follow it up with this sheer, um, African Pride Sheer Miracle Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner. Guys, this, this conditioner right here, I'm yet to find anything better. I love, seriously, not a sponsored video, but they should be because I love this product, honestly. And it's not just me. Read the reviews on Amazon. It, it's so good, okay? Um, what I definitely like about this is that it's light and you can feel that it actually does penetrate into your hair shaft Like it actually moisturizes your hair without it being like oily and greasy Now as you guys can see there's about half of this left in there That is because I normally split it into two and I use one half to create my hair moisturizer So my hair moisturizer is this leave-in conditioner as well as um, whipped up shea butter so I take my whipped up shea butter and I add it in with this and I mix it up together and that makes my perfect um, hair moisturizer. So that's why I use to moisturize my hair. So I would moisturize my hair and then I will follow up braiding my hair. I try to braid my hair straight away. If I can't braid my hair straight away, then I would probably do it like the following day. 80% of the time, guys, my hair is in braids. Like I hardly ever go without braiding my hair. And maybe about 20% of the time, I just might straighten my hair, enjoy my length a little bit, and then do my routine and I'm straight back into um, braiding my hair again. Keeping your hair braided, if you are of the descents that I spoke about, it's so important because number one, it's a low manipulative style. Number two, you can perform also with just a few handfuls of water if your hair is braided. Um, there was a hadith that stated that that was okay to do. 
so that means you don't have to like take a whole jug of water and completely dump it over yourself you can just use um, three handfuls of water which means the less water you're putting in your hair consistently the less drying your hair is going to get right so after braiding my hair i will leave the braids in for about a week in a week's time after i've done i've done the first braids i will not take my braids out but what i will do is i will wash my hair with a little bit of shampoo and a little bit of conditioner and i would add warm water to it and mix it in really really well so that the water turns a little bit cloudy and i would use that water to wash my hair whilst my hair is still in braids super important because me i'm all about low manipulative styles low manipulative styles have helped my hair grow so much so i don't mess with my hair unless it's necessary that's why i keep it in braids most of the time so i will use that water to wash my hair when i'm done washing my hair i will rinse it and then i'm going to take my favorite oil you choose the oil that you think your hair loves the most for me my favorite oil for my hair is almond oil take that oil take a handful of that oil and rub it all over your hair okay not whilst your hair is like dripping with water damp it a little bit and then apply about a handful of oil all over your hair then you're going to condition your hair i have a hair conditioning cap that i use this is, was about 30 pounds or so i will leave, leave something like this linked in the description box down below or this particular one if they still have it because it's been the ages since i've had this um but what you're going to do is you're going to condition your hair if you don't have a hair steaming cap you can leave the cap on your hair and then wrap your hair with towel what you want to do is create heat so that the oil can penetrate into your hair shaft so for me i condition my hair for about 30 minutes remember i have not taken my braids out i have washed my hair whilst the braid is in with a little bit of shampoo and a little bit of conditioner then i've applied this oil to it and i sit under my cap for 30 minutes once 30 minutes is done i go and i rinse my hair when you are rinsing your hair with um braids in it be very careful don't just do all of that and mess up your braids just gently just tap and just put your fingers through the gaps like that and wash your hair sometimes i will use a conditioner following the oil if there's like too much oil in my hair sometimes i won't use a conditioner sometimes i just wash off the excess oil with lukewarm water the water has to be warm guys um i use lukewarm water to wash off the excess excess oil once i'm out of the shower from rinsing the excess oil out i apply a little bit of my leave-in conditioner and i'm done and i repeat that routine over the course of a month so over the course of a month i don't take my hair out the only time that i take my hair out is at the end of my menstruation before i perform my whistle and i repeat the whole situation that i explained at the beginning okay so once i'm done with that over the course of a week i'm just applying a little bit of my moisturizer onto my hair and i'm good to go and on the second week i will repeat it again wash my hair with a little bit of conditioner a little bit of shampoo do my hot oil treatment and then just go about my business now what i found following this routine was that the following month when i took my hair out in order to perform my whistle at the end of my menstrual cycle i found that my hair was still super moisturized and i think a lot of the fear for sisters who are of black descent or um, mixed rays or have curly hair some of the you know fear that we have is our hair being dry because of the like constant performance of whistle like some of you guys might be performing whistle three to four times a week so it's really important guys incorporate hot oil treatments as a weekly hair care routine if you are married and you have curly hair or you are of black descent or mixed race descent definitely try this out it will leave your hair very very moisturized and also well conditioned that's what another thing that i noticed was just the general health of my hair was a lot more better than before when i wasn't incorporating the hot oil treatments weekly into my hair care routine this doesn't even have to be for sisters who are married if you just have dry hair and you find that you know you're trying lots of things and not much is working out for you try this guys try this it really does help and if there is a one product well actually two that i would highly have to recommend for your hair number one shea butter i love shea butter for everything and i think if i was to like share my beauty routine with you guys you guys would know that i just love shea butter period but this this leave-in conditioner 
seriously it's so moisturizing that's what i like about it it's not just like a grease ball of oil on your hair it's just super moisturizing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already inshallah ta'ala i will see you guys in my next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh